friends, welcome back. Today's video has been much requested and I have finally worked up the courage to do it. So today, we are gonna style a wig together. Now, before we dive in, disclaimer, I am by no means a wig expert. These are just some of the tricks that have gotten me through the last year on lockdown. And I'm gonna share them with you today. Now, before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to my favorite wig stylists, Carlos the Uber Driver and Perfidia. Thank you for always keeping my hair right. I cannot wait to be back in your hats. Now, let's get styling! Hi! I'm Nicole Anoscopy, and you're watching my YouTube channel! Alright y'all, let's talk about the products we are going to be using today. Now I'm a firm believer in Pump It Up Gold Hairspray for teasing, and Tresemme Four Hold Hairspray for shaping and finishing. You're going to want a slew of brushes. My favorite for teasing is this guy here. Ooh, I don't know if you can see the bristles or not, but they are just ratty, going every which way. It's really great for grabbing the hair and packing it down. Also, I like to use a wet brush for smoothing the ends and getting out those tangles. And just a slew of other brushes for smoothing and shaping at the end. I also love my duck clips. Quack, quack! For just keeping everything together and a whole bunch of other bigger clips. Yeah. Most importantly, you're gonna need a wig. I'm working with this interesting blue tinsel number today. I got this from my wholesale supplier in China. I'm not gonna give all my secrets away, but I'm excited to play with this. It's a new color for me. What do you think? Do you like that? Well, we'll see if we like it when we're all done. Now, let's get teasing. Now, first thing I wanna do is section out a little bang section. I like to get a section that's about the width of a hair roller. And I like to part my hair to the left. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm going to brush that all up. I'm gonna get a handy dandy clip to keep that section together. And I like to take some of these long hat pins there and put that on either side of that section just to keep it out of the way. For the rest of the teasing, I like to start from the back and move forward. So I'm going to get the rest of this hair up, put it in clips so it is out of the way, and then we'll be ready to roll. Now that we got all the hair up and out of the way, we can get started on this little back section and bring down more hair as we go. So when it comes to teasing, I like to get a section that is about four tracks tall and about the width of a hair roller. Now today we are just using the factory curls that came in the wig. Otherwise, if we did a roller set, we'd have the rollers as a guide to know just how much to take in each section. It's really helpful, but roller sets take a lot of time, Mama, and I'm busy. Take your Pump It Up hairspray. I'm gonna give it about three spritzes. I cheated and added a fourth one. I'm gonna brush that up. Now you're gonna hold the hair away from you and brush down in the direction you wanna fall. You're gonna grab a little bit of hair at a time, brush it down and towards you, and gently letting hair fall from your fingertips above like a light waterfall. All right, let's go. See the nice little rats forming right there? That is exactly what you want. And you wanna get that down as close to the root as possible. It'll just be more structurally sound and last you a whole lot longer. Oh, this wig is thick. We're gonna get some volume out of her. This part of the process is gonna get real messy. Let it happen, we'll smooth it out later. We're gonna keep going on in those sections, bringing hair down as we go. I'm gonna do that in hyper speed now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the tease. Now one little trick that I sometimes use after I've teased individual sections, I'll grab a couple sections next to each other, get them up, kind of marry the two sections. It'll make it so they're not just individual rats. It'll just make it much more structurally sound and get a lot of extra volume. Coffee break! What a perfect time to go smash that subscribe button, okay? Give it a like while you're at it too. Oh yeah. 
Shout out to my drag bestie, Ritzy Bitch. She taught me all of the styling basics. I love you, thank you. Now today there are just so many drag queens. Yes, it takes a lot of courage to get up there and perform, but I think it's even more important these days to be a technician and really know your craft, create your own head-to-toe fantasy. So I am just so excited to keep growing and learning. Thanks for growing and learning with me. Let's get creative. Let's stay gorgeous. People are always asking me, what's it like living in Oregon as a drag queen? And I gotta say, it's really hard because I have to keep pausing my video so my neighbor can zip by on their ATV, okay? It's homophobic. One thing I like to remind myself of as I'm styling is that wigs always will look smaller on the block than they will on your head. So this is gonna look ginormous on me when I get it on, so I can't wait. Okay, let's work on this bang. We're gonna work in sections moving towards the direction of the bang, getting it to kind of blend in with the rest of this as we go. Really want to pack the teasing down to the root in this bang so that it will continue to stand up straight for many wears to come. It's getting a little tall, so I'm going to flip it around to the front and just push that hair back in the direction we want it to fall. Oh yes. Oh yes. Now, I've always been very interested and passionate in about my hair as a drag queen because my mom is a hairstylist and I grew up watching her style hair as a little little boy and ooh, I just think hair is so beautiful. And it says a lot about a person, it really does. Look how big she is! Oh, I love it, do you love it? I love it. She's a little rough, the time has come. Just smooth her out, let's do it. Now we're gonna put our pump it up away now and move on to the tresemme, okay? Now here, we're gonna start in the front and move to the back with the smoothing. We're gonna get this bang just right. Really get those ear tabs pulled back so that we can show off our beautiful jewels. Ooh, here we go. And I'm gonna use the side of the brush we were teasing with here. Just gently, oh so gently, drag it through the hairs there. And the side of your hand is really gonna be your friend in this process. As we go, keep your hands there, get a duck clip, and just kind of get that in there to keep that lift in there as that hairspray sets. And you wanna make sure you're very gentle as you do this so you don't pull out any of that teasing. You work so hard to get in there. People are always asking me, how do you get your wigs so smooth? And I really think the secret is patience. Lots of patience. That's all it is. I also really like this pick here. We're getting up the little rats. Okay, so here is the front. It's starting to resemble a hairstyle of sorts. Now we're gonna focus some attention. Now I'm gonna start up top and work my way down. I'm gonna use the side of the brush as I mentioned and use my hand to kind of take off some of the pressure. You just wanna gently graze the surface and get that outermost layer just laying super flat and smooth. The more you brush it, the more you'll see it kind of bounce back to life. I also really enjoy this brush here for smoothing. I'm gonna to continue to smooth out the back and check back in in just a moment. And here is the finished product. Just some big, classic, bouncy waves for ya. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm excited to see how this color is gonna look on me. Ooh, she's kinda of fun! Now, I gotta finish her off with a little spritz of my perfume. Woman by Ralph Lauren or Laurent or whatever. He can't be too fancy. His name's Ralph after all, okay? Come on. Now I'm gonna throw on a quick look, see how she looks on me, and I'll be right back. And 
here is the finished product. Ooh, I'm blue, double D, double die. Now, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. Now, if you like this and want to see some more, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And by all means, please subscribe to this channel. All right, I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Goodbye.